Hey, it's Bobby from Decoding here, and this is the fourth video in the Building a Reusable Django App playlist. So if this is your first time visiting this channel, then please subscribe, like, and share the content, and also add a comment because it's always good to hear some feedback, right? So if you have been following along, then you'll know that I'm building a newsletter app for the project we built in the playlist above. That app is a newsletter app that adds the functionality for a user to subscribe and unsubscribe from a newsletter. Um, the thing is, we want this app to be reusable because I add this functionality to most of my projects. So we really need a plug and play type app so we can use it in this project, remove it, package it up and install it in any project that we have. So that's what we've been doing, doing in the last three videos. We built the app, we tested the app, and now in this video, we're going to package the app up so that we can install it. So that's what we're doing. Look at my screen. So I've opened up straight away on the Django Docs page. So if you um, are new to Django, their documentation is fantastic. Um, this actual tutor tutorial that I've got here says that it follows on from um, the advanced tutorial begins where tutorial seven left off. If you've never done a tutorial that I've got on their docs, then you should do because it's really, really good and it really helps understand uh, how Django works. So this tutorial is always talking about an app that's built called Polls, uh, but we're using this tutorial to build out our newsletter app or package up our newsletter app. So let's jump straight into it. We won't read all of this, but it's going on about how important it is to um, package your code or have reusable code and not to repeat yourself. Um, so this is the schematics of the project that I've built in this tutorial, but it's very, very similar to our newsletter app. Um, and yeah, installing some prerequisites. So we're saying here that we need setup tools. We've already got that installed in this project already, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we've got packaging your app. So I think there's about eight or nine points that we've got to fly through. Now I've already done this work, so we'll go through the points, then we'll look at Sublime Text and I'll show you what I've done. So first we need to create a parent directory for the newsletter outside of the Django project, and we call this They've called it Django Polls. We're calling it Did Demo Newsletter. So I've done that. If I open up Sublime Text, um, this is the directory here. So it's Did Demo Newsletter. This sits outside of the project. Okay. You've then got number two, which is move the polls directory to the Django to the um, Did Demo Newsletter directory. Now you can see on Sublime that I've already done that, right? Okay, so this here, this is the newsletter app. So I'll drag that or I'll cut it straight out of the did demo uh, directory straight into this. So now did demo has not got a newsletter, okay? So if I was running the server, it'd all crash because it's looking for an app that isn't there. It then goes on to ask you to create a readme.rst file. So, and it gives you the contents to put in there, but I've adapted that because uh, that's very much about their polls app. If you look at our readme RST, it says did demo newsletter, it gives you a description of the project, what to do on quick start. So we need to install newsletter to uninstalled apps, which we do. We add this line of code here to our URL conf, and then we migrate. So uh, because the migration file is already in the project, so we just migrate that to create the necessary objects in the database. And then you've got optional settings. So the NL redirect HTML, if you remember in the last video, link to that video, by the way, is up here. And then we've got the unsubscribe dict. Again, this is what you need to put in your settings file if you want something specific. And then it says more settings are coming soon. And then you've got configuration. So this is what we did in the last video. We had the app working in, in video two. And in number three, we strung it all together. So we built out the view. We built, we added some code to the HTML and we've done a sort of a demo email. That's what, so this is what I've done here. So I've got a, a demo view, URL, and example HTML. So that will essentially be the docs for this project. So that's the readme RST file. It goes on to then say to create a license. I've already done that. So this is the license. It's a BSD two clause license that I've added in there. It does say that it's outside of the scope of the tutorial. It is outside of this scope as well, but it's easy enough to, um, it says dist um, if you Google BSD license, it's easy enough to get. So then we've got the setup CFG and the setup PY files, okay? So the CFG file, this is what has the metadata and uh, all I've done is I've taken this here and I've adapted it for our project. 
So where are we? We're in this one here. So set up CFG. So did demo news that that's the name version 0.1 uh, description. And then you've got the long description. So it references the readme RST file, then the URL, the author, the author email, da, 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 da. Okay. So like I say, I've adapted what Django has um, told me to do. Um, and it says install requirements Django and it just put X, Y. So that's the, um, the Django, um, the version that you're using in this project. So you, you adapt this as necessary. And then in the settings.py file, you need from setup tools, import setup, and then you call setup. So just to show you that I've done that, I've got it there. Okay, so that is everything it then says to add a manifest which i've done manifest has the license it includes the readme file but as this project has a html document that we need you need to actually add this line here so it's recursive include and then you reference the directory directory where those templates are in this case it's newsletter slash templates and this little um, star here says uh, include everything or all files in that directory and then include the docs directory here which uh, they reference in point eight no in point seven so it's optional but recommended to include detailed documentation so add a directory docs so if you look in um, sublime text you'll see that i've got that there there's nothing in there but i've got it okay then we have got this so try building your package with python setup.py sdist so let's give this a go okay so this is my command prompt i'm going to just simply paste in no i'm not so it, what is the so is python setup.py sdist so python setup py and as s dist is that right just double check before i click s dist set up the py yeah that looks to be right let's see if this works okay that works lovely so um yeah so i run the python setup.py s dist um and then it run through this program here and it, it looks like it's created the disk directory and within that we then got the did demo newsletter point or dash o dot one dot tar dot gz and it will be referencing that in a second so let's go back to the docs using your own package since we moved the polls directory or the newsletter directory out of the project is no longer working we'll now fix this by installing our new django our new uh, did demo newsletter package so to install a package use pip you already installed it we've already got pip installed right so um let's have a look so we need to adapt this. So it's Python M pip install. So we need to go back into, um, so I need a command prompt here. So if I go, oh no, I've already got did demo. So I've already got the um, virtual environment up and running. So I don't need to do anything there. That will still install into the right place. So if I just copy and paste, copy, paste right what do i need to change here so it's not that it's did demo newsletter and it is in dist but we need to change this to did demo newsletter point o sorry dash o point one dot tar gz is that right that looks to be right. Okay, moment of truth, eh? Let's give it a go. Oh, you cannot perform a dot dot user install. Let's try that without the user. I believe this is what happened yesterday when I was playing around with it. I'm just looking at it. Obviously, it's referencing a. Um, a path that is incorrect because I'm already in did demo newsletter the path should be dist slash did demo newsletter so that was assuming that you're in the other directory oh it's doing something right that looks good uh, I'm quite happy with that there we go it's uninstalling what's it doing successfully installing Django um, did I reference the wrong one all right it's doing something 
Okay, that seems to work. Uh, it is telling me to upgrade my pit, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. So what we now need to do is we now need to test this because I removed newsletter and I've just added another version of newsletter as a package. So if we CD out of this and CD into did demo, which I probably should have done anyway a minute ago, then I can reference the manage.py file. So Python manage.py run server. See what happens here. If it runs the server and doesn't find an error, then that's a good sign, right? So let's go on to localhost, refresh the screen. All looking good so far. That's, I don't need to make migrations because I already have the, um, uh, the model on the database, right? So let's go Bobby at, uh, what have I got in there already? I can't remember. So I just put test.com, subscribe. It works. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. That's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. Right, so this will be the end of this video now because uh, all I wanted to do was to demonstrate how to take out an app from a project and package it up and just install it from your local machine. Technically speaking, now you can zip that folder or that directory and you can email it, you could send it to anyone and they could then pip install it from that directory. Or you could keep it on your local machine or add it to GitHub and then you can just um, pip install whenever you have a requirement for it. So, so in the next video, we will package up the app once again but this time we will publish it to a public repository. Okay, and in this in that video, what we do, we'll be putting it to Python package index, so um, we can then pip install it straight from PYPI. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching it. I hope it was of interest to you. Again, if this is the first time to this channel, then please subscribe, like, and share the content. Also, if you wanna support this channel, there's a link to the Patreon page in the description below. All pledges are massively welcomed. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.